Hey gang, you know, sometimes God gets a bad rap for saying things he didn't say. Take the whole spare the rod, spoil the child thing that I'm sure many of you have heard before. You know, that's not actually found anywhere in the Bible. There's a similar verse, but it actually says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction will drive it far from him. Kind of different. Well, as with anything, knowing what the standard is and what it actually says is vital to being able to be successful, whether in life or religion, business, your marriage, whatever it happens to be. For me, the overall standard is the Word of God, and needing to know it is vital. And the only way you're going to know it is by picking it up and reading it from time to time. Take a look at Eve in the Garden of Eden. God had told Adam and Eve that they were not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the very first thing that happened to Eve was Satan approached her in the form of the serpent and asked her what had God actually said. And she didn't know. Eve said, God said, don't eat it and don't touch it. Eve didn't know the standard. You can't not know the standard and be successful. In your business life, there's standards, usually in the form of a handbook or just general policies. If you work for a small company that doesn't have a handbook or there's no really written documentation, ask your supervisors what the standards are and then write them down yourself so that you can know what success means in your role. The standard is important. And if you don't familiarize with the standard, you're going to end up a lot like Eve, eating something that you're not supposed to and creating a big mess. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm Mark Morris for Morse's Minutes. Bye-bye.